Blendix Serial lets you connect Blender to external devices using serial communication. You can send and receive data in real time, control 3D objects, and display text from connected devices. The add-on allows you to set up a serial connection, adjust port settings, and choose different modes based on your needs. No matter what device you're using, robots, sensors, or other hardware, Blendix Serial makes it easy to connect and control it directly within Blender. In version 0.12 of Blendix Serial, you could only control three objects in Blender, and there was no way to send object animation data to a connected device. With Blendix Serial 1, communication between Blender and your connected devices is now much more robust and user-friendly. You can send and receive object data, enabling genuine two-way interaction. A significant improvement is the ability to dynamically add as many objects as needed for data transfer, removing the previous three object limitation. The add-in also features built-in serial port detection, ensuring smoother setup and cross-platform compatibility regardless of your operating system. Additionally, the user interface has been refined for easier navigation and a more intuitive experience. The Blendix Serial interface includes two main panels, Serial Connection and 3D Object Control. In the Serial Connection panel, you can choose the port and baud read from drop-down menus, then click the Connect button to establish a connection. The connection status will show whether the add-on is currently connected or disconnected. This panel also includes two icon buttons, one opens debugging options, and the other displays information about the add-on. The 3D Object Control Panel features a numerical field slider that lets you set the update delay for the scene. This value determines how frequently the scene refreshes and how often data is visually updated in the Blender viewport. Lowering the delay value results in more frequent updates, creating smoother and more responsive real-time visualizations. Increasing the delay, on the other hand, slows down the update rate and may make the visualization feel less responsive. The panel includes a toggle button to enable or disable movement updates. A drop-down menu offers three data handling modes. Send, to transmit data from Blender to an external device. Receive, to bring data from the device into Blender. Both, to enable two-way communication. In send mode, you'll see an additional drop-down menu that lets you choose between two sending methods. Keyframe-based sends data only when a new keyframe is reached, while timer-based sends data at regular intervals, regardless of keyframes. This gives you the flexibility to choose whether data should be tied to animation keyframes or sent continuously over time. If you select the keyframe-based option, a field will appear where you can specify how many frames to skip between sending keyframe data. This means the add-on will skip the specified number of frames between each transmission of animation keyframe values. There's also a button to add objects to the send list for data transmission. In this section, you can control which axes and properties, such as location, rotation, and scale, are sent for each object. In Receive mode, the panel includes a field to display incoming text data directly in the 3D view. You can select a font text object to visually show the received data in real time. Additionally, there's an Animate Object section where you can add custom objects to be animated based on the incoming data. You can simply search for Blendix Serial or use the link provided in the video description to visit the add-on's official page. There, you'll find the latest release available for download. Once downloaded, open Blender and go to the Preferences window. Under the Extensions tab, click Install from Disk, then browse and select the Blendix Serial zip file. At this point, you may encounter one of two scenarios. If you've already installed Blendix Serial before, the add-on will install without any issues, since the required Pi Serial module is already present. If this is your first time installing, you may see an error message instructing you to run Blender as an administrator. This is needed so the add-on can install Pi Serial properly. To avoid any errors, it's recommended to always run Blender as administrator when installing Blendix Serial for the first time.
As you can see, once I ran Blender as an administrator, the add-on installed successfully without any errors. Now, you can access Blendix Serial from the sidebar panel in the 3D view. If you're already familiar with Blendix Serial add-in, you probably know about the Arduino Blendix Serial library. It's the key to making your Arduino communicate with the Blender add-on. Good news, this library is updated to stay in sync with the add-on, and you can download and install it from the link in the video description. What does this library do? It simply simplifies serial communication for your Arduino projects. Whether you need to send multiple sets of X, Y, and Z coordinates or even an optional text message, it handles the process of both sending and receiving structured data over serial, making it much easier to connect your Arduino to Blender. So, here's a little demonstration of the Blendex Serial project. I'm planning to make more videos about this, but I'd really love to hear your suggestions. If you have ideas for improvements or new features for the add-on or library, please drop a comment or let me know on GitHub. Oh, and you can also grab the project files from Gumroad. I just started there, so your support would be awesome and help keep me motivated to make more content.